In this video, we're going to take a look at order of operation of a more complicated expression. When looking at this expression, you might ask yourself, well, what do I evaluate first? Now brackets are often used to avoid confusion, and then standard order of operations or precedence is that you would apply your exponents first, then you would do division, multiplication, and then you would do addition and subtraction. Now the most common acronym that's used to help us remember the order of operation is the word bed mess, where the B refers to brackets, the E refers to exponents, D division, M multiplication, A addition, and S subtraction. Now it's important to note that within the acronym BEDMESS, you can interchange the D and the M. So you could do multiplication before division or vice versa because they're considered to have equal precedence. The same goes for addition and subtraction. You could interchange and do subtraction before addition because they're also considered to have equal precedence. Now there's many different acronyms which refer to the order of operation depending on your instructor and what you've been taught. For example, some instructors teach PEDMESS instead of BEDMESS where the P refers to parentheses or some instructors might refer to the acronym PIDMIS, where the I refers to indices instead of exponents. Now, mnemonics are also used to help us remember order of operation. For example, PEMDIS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, is another method to try to remember the order of operation. Now, like I said, it really depends on what your instructor has taught you. So go ahead and try this example. Remember that brackets go first, then exponents. You can interchange division and multiplication, and then you can interchange addition and subtraction. But try to follow the order of bed mess and evaluate this problem. So within this expression, we see a couple sets of brackets. And so within the square brackets, you see another set of brackets here. So you should apply those brackets first. Now within those brackets, you see addition and you see subtraction as well. As previously stated, addition and subtraction have equal precedence, so it doesn't matter which you would apply first, but you should apply this bracket first. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression. So I'm gonna add the nine to the 13 and it becomes 22. Then I'm gonna subtract the two. Now you could have done the nine subtract the two first, and that's fine, again, because of the equal precedence. But now my next order would be to apply this bracket, still working with that bracket, we would get 22 minus two, which gives us 20. With bed mass, we see another bracket here, so we should apply what's in the bracket. Within the bracket, we see an exponent, we see addition, and we see division. So with bed mess, because we're within a bracket, we should apply the exponent first. Then we should apply the division. Then lastly, apply the addition, all within the bracket, in that order. So applying 2 to the power of 4 works out to 16. Then within the bracket, we have division, which comes before addition. So apply the division first. So we should have 12 multiplied by 16 plus 20 divided by five is four, then divided by four again. In the next step, because we still have a bracket, we haven't evaluated absolutely everything in the bracket, we should do that first. You should have done 16 plus 4 next, which gives us 20, then divide by 4. Now I don't have any more brackets left, I don't have any more exponents left, I have multiplication and division. Well which one should be done first? Well again, multiplication and division can be interchanged since they have equal precedence. So you could have done the 12 multiplied by 20 first or you could have done the 20 divided by 4 first. It really doesn't matter which order. Now I'm going to apply the 20 divided by 4 first. So 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. 
And finally, 12 multiplied by 5 gives me 60, which is your final answer. Now, like I said, when doing addition and subtraction, because they're interchangeable, this right here within the bracket, I said you can do the addition first or you can do the subtraction first. It really doesn't matter. Now, I chose to do the addition first. Let's just take a look at this and bring it over here and do the subtraction first to see that it does go to the same answer. So if I were to do the 13 plus and do the subtraction first, 9 minus 2 gives us 7. Now that's all within the brackets. So 13 now plus 7 gives us 20, which is what we obtained when we first did it the opposite order. Also, the other thing to point out here is the multiplication and division, which has equal precedence, so I said you can interchange that order. Now, I chose to do the division first, whereas you could have chose to do the multiplication first. So, for example, we could have done the 12 multiplied by 20 first, which gives us 240, and then we could have divided that by 4 second. Now, 240 divided by 4 gives us 60.